Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Greenfield, Indiana. All right, my attempt to get, uh, well, actually, I got fuel, but for some reason uh, it was too common, too. Uh, it was very windy outside. Let's just put it that way. And it was so windy, I didn't feel like video taping the uh, fuel uh, part and so just kind of skip it and anyway we gotta go we gotta go 30 minute break is done I got my breakfast and lunch Three hundred and twelve miles to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Local time is one thirty-eight. I think we're gonna take the bypass, uh, the circle through Indianapolis. All right, uh, right now I've got five hours and 10 minutes available to drive. GPS said I need 5 hours and 27 minutes to get to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Holy smokies, this is going to be really, really close. You know, I get this question a lot. What happens if you go over your, uh, your drive time? Um, what I usually do is just, you know, let's just say... This is one prime example. I once drove to uh, Washington State. And so I <clears throat> I did my route planning, my route planning and all that stuff. And I calculated right down to within 10 minutes, give and take. And there was this rest area that I saw in uh, South Dakota or North Dakota actually and so I set my sight to do a 10 hour break at that uh, uh, rest area and I made it I made it to the rest area within somewhere about 8 minutes 8 minutes to spare uh, going to the rest area unfortunately when I got to the rest area, the rest area was uh, was was closed. It was out of service, and believe it or not, the next rest area was something like 75 miles away. There was nothing there. There was no truck stop. There was no, you know. Then, as I said, the next rest area was something about 75 miles away and so I kept on going kept on going until I finally got to uh, the next rest area or next possible
next possible uh, you know safe haven and so when I got there I simply went to the sleeper berth put on the commons safe haven and did a 10 hour break and I never heard anything from well at that time I mean there's there's you know there are provisions that you can do that uh, but it falls into the uh, officers discretion and I would imagine most of them are, are very reasonable you know you, you explain it you explain what happens and I can't imagine that they would prosecute you for it But if you do it too often, they're going to look at you kind of funny, like, uh, are you kind of abusing this or what, you know? All right, I usually go straight through downtown, but today I'm going to take the bypass. more please and one more
bumps here are so rough that the sensor is telling me that I've lost traction. Acquired about a job? I hate it when people misdial and then they hang up. people call you it's a wrong number instead of saying oh I'm sorry I met, made a wrong number they when as soon as they realize they called the wrong number they just hang up no apologies no explanation just that's it how rude
we should be coming up to the uh oh we gotta get off here i mean we gotta change lane so it, this is 865 west The local time here is 2.01, 288 miles to Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Buddy, welcome to Whitestown, or yeah, White's Law, yeah, Whitestown, Indiana. We are now traveling on Interstate 65 North. Yeah, this is Whitestown. The one, the White Law, is uh, south of Indianapolis on 65. Local time is 207. 282 miles to Walk, Wisconsin. That right there is the TA truck stop. 